Welcome everyone, hope you are all well and safe. I am super proud to have my lab hosting this session of the 12th Experimental Archaeology Conference. And we are the hotspot of the conference in charge of organizing and presenting to you some of the studies in experimental archaeology developed in South America. So first, I would like to thank the organization of the conference for the invitation. And also, I would like to thank the sponsors, because without you, this will not be feasible to be done. I also would like to thank all the researchers from South America that submitted papers or posters to our session. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very interesting one. At this point, I guess I have to briefly introduce myself and my lab. My name is Mercedes Okumura. I am the coordinator of the Laboratory for Human Evolutionary Studies at the Institute of Biosciences at the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil. As I told you before, my lab will be hosting the session about experimental archaeology in South America. And I would like to tell you about what we do in terms of research and why we got interested in experimental archaeology. So, in my lab, we believe that human evolution cannot be fully understood without taking into account both the biological and the cultural components. We are interested in understanding the evolution of ancient hum human groups from both the point of view of biology and culture, including the analysis of human skeletons as well as the analysis of fauna remains, stone tools, bone tools, and pottery. But before I tell you about my current research, I better explain a bit about my past research. So it all began back in 2010, when I was a postdoc at the University of Sao Paulo, and I was interested in studying projectile points, the lithic points, using evolutionary archaeology and the cultural transmission theory to further understand changes across time in such artifacts. At that time, I was using geometric morphometrics as a way of tracking changes across time. Um, and my research soon attracted the, the attention of uh, some colleagues and some students, which were also interested in stone tools in South America. And these colleagues and students, they were uh, approaching this problem using a diversity of different techniques, including technological analysis, as well as experimental archaeology. Although experimental archaeology is wide known and very popular among archaeologists in North America, uh, very few researchers in the southern subcontinent have worked systematically with this approach. So we do hope that this situation will change in the near future, as experimental archaeology can be an excellent tool to further understand the diversity of prehistoric, lithic artifacts and bone tools. Currently, experimental archaeology is part of our main research projects, including the replication of stone and bone tools produced by ancient hunter-gatherer groups in the Americas. We are mostly interested in using experimental archaeology as a tool to track changes and persistence in hunter-gatherer groups from southern Brazil during the Holocene. Our results so far point to a much greater diversity of stone and bone artifacts than previously recognized, as well as an important persistence of the ways of making these stone and bone tools in some regions from southern Brazil. These results have been observed using different uh, methods, including technological analysis, geometric morphometrics, and experimental archaeology. In a way, experimental archaeology has been an important aspect of our research because it allows us to understand the making of such tools and how the making varied across regions at the same time that there are places where people were maintaining these traditions for quite a long time. Now, I would like to let the researchers of my team introduce themselves and tell you about their research. 
Hi, my name is João Carlos Moreno de Souza, also known as Juca. I'm a member of Exarx since the last year, and I have been collaborating with the Laboratory for Human Evolutionary Studies for 12 years already, since I was in my undergraduate. I am a specialist on lithic technology, early settlement of the Americas, and for the last five years I have been specializing in experimental archaeology as well. I started in the lab with an internship on bioarchaeology, where I did a lot of curation and analysis of skeletons from early Holocene in Brazil. At that time, I already had some few experience on breaking rocks, learning by myself to make simple tools as chokers and big bifaces. In the further years, due to my expertise on lithics, I have been dealing mostly with the lithic assemblages. During my PhD in the National Museum in Rio de Janeiro, I had the opportunity to start my experimental studies in a more serious way. I got a scholarship from CAPES, the main Brazilian government agency for academic funding, that allowed me to carry out part of my PhD studies in the University of Exeter with Professor Bruce Bradley. Thanks to him and the Department of Archaeology, I am the first academic in Brazil that has the necessary skills to replicate complex tools from the Pan American context. This is making a big difference now on the way we understand not just the stages of artifacts production, but also cognitive aspects related to it, like how people think about producing different types of artifacts, or how much skills and body techniques people must have so they can apply certain technologies. And this amplifies our discussion on these hunter-gatherer groups we are cur currently studying. Because of my experience, I have been often invited to give lectures and make demonstrations in courses of many universities and departments in South America. My current project aims to understand how hunter-gatherer cultures evolved in southeastern and southern Brazil, with special focus on the Thermolithic artifacts. And experimental archaeology has been a very important approach in this project. I am also currently supervising undergraduate students on the team of experimental archaeology. Hopefully, we will have more researchers in Brazil interested in applying experimental archaeology in their projects. Hello. I'm Gabriela Sartori Mingatos, and I'm a, a diamond one of the newest members of EXAC. I have been collaborating with the Laboratory for Human Evolutionary Studies for more than eight years since I was an undergraduate student. Currently, I'm a PhD candidate at the National Museum in Rio de Janeiro, and I work with zooarchaeology. For the last two years, I have been specializing in bone tools and recently in experimental archaeology to better understand the manufacture process involved in bone tools. Certainly, making experiments involving animal bones helped me to unravel how these artifacts were made in the past. My current project aims to understand changes through time in diet as well as in bone and antler tools, and experimental archaeology is being an especially important approach in my project because it helped me to understand the manufacture and technology involved, the user marks and the potential preference of raw material using during Holocene in Brazilian archaeological sites. Other projects that we take part include research on experimental archaeology and Paleolithic groups from Southern Europe, Northern Africa and the Middle East. Regardless of the region, the replication of such tools aims to further understand the lithic and bone technology of the past, as well as to produce reference collections, which are very handy for future studies. At this point, I would like to thank the colleagues who have been helping us to apply experimental archaeology in our projects. I would like to thank the University of Exeter, more specifically Professor Bruce Bradley, who has been now for years very generously sharing his amazing knowledge on flint napping with us. In the last decade, uh, Professor Bradley has been visiting Brazil to give workshops on flint napping, and these workshops have been attended by many Brazilian students and researchers. And he also in the past graciously uh, received me and my team at his university, where we also learned a lot. 
Other colleagues also have helped us to better understand the making of bone tools. We would like to thank Isabelle Sideha from the University of Paris in Nanterre, uh, Roland Pardé Cooper, the director of Exarc, as well as Marcelo Javier Toledo from the Universidad de Buenos Aires in Argentina. Finally, I would like to thank Exarc again for the invitation and for organizing this. And, needless to say, you are all welcome to visit São Paulo and the Laboratory for Human Evolutionary Studies as soon as the current situation regarding the pandemics gets better and it is safe to be together again. In the meantime, you can contact us and keep in touch with us using the email address you can see below. <laughs>